don't know if you can see that, I can't see. <laughs> Hello, good morning. I'm going to make um, early lunch, late breakfast, brunch. Um, sorry it's so dark, I love this. So, let me get this ready and then I'm gonna tell you what I did this morning because it's awesome. So we make this all the time and you could do this with tofu. He's done this with mushrooms and onions. You could do this with carrots for carrot locks, which is what we do. Um, yeah, so basically all you need is a block of tofu, which I diced tiny. And you can also scramble it um, into like, yeah, tofu scramble. Just like get your hands and just like break it up. Um, I like it this way. Chris likes it the other way, but this is better for pictures. And then... Um, Soy sauce, uh, this is like all messed up, but any soy sauce of your choice, you could even use like uh, liquid aminos, coconut aminos, whatever you prefer. Uh, coconut vinegar, which is I think the key ingredient. Coconut vinegar, you can just get this at Whole Foods. I haven't tried it with any other vinegar yet. Um, white vinegar might work. I don't know about apple cider vinegar, but if you guys try it, let me know. I don't know. Anyways, um, last ingredient is liquid smoke. Um, so basically I do kind of Here, let me put it in and I'll kind of gauge the amount I put in so when I cook at home um, Outside of my blog. I don't really measure much because it's easier um, to do it this way. I'm lazy um, But for the sake of this I'm gonna tell you guys how much I put so First we start with soy sauce So I don't put any oil or anything on the pan um, and it's gonna have a lot of moisture from the tofu and from this so it's not necessary I'd say like a fourth to a third cup, uh, a fourth cup of this. Um, and then I'm also gonna do, I think another fourth cup of coconut vinegar. I usually do pretty equal amounts. And then for liquid smoke, you don't need that much. Don't go crazy because it's very concentrated and I've made a mistake and it's been disgusting before. It smells so good. So just put like a drizzle, around half a teaspoon though. And then you just put it over medium. Just cook it up until it's pretty dry and it's kind of sizzling and then it's done. All right, so my camera died, so that was a little bit of a fail. But I want to, I guess, this is a mukbang, but this is what my final plate looks like. Um, beans, greens, potato, tomato. I have beans, rice, um, that avocado, which is actually pretty good. Um, the, the resulting smoky tofu, which can you see it? Yeah, so good. Uh, romaine lettuce, and then I sprinkled it with Oh, and, and broccoli. I sprinkled it with nutritional yeast, um, on the avocado, put a little bit of salt and pepper, and then on the whole thing I put, um, Bragg's has like a 21 herbs and spices seasoning, and dude, it's amazing. Anyway, so I'm just gonna sit down and talk a little about what happened this morning, like I was trying to tell you earlier, and um, just improvements on my injury, my back and everything, so I'm gonna be eating while I'm talking because I'm so hungry, but sorry if that's not appealing to you. I'm gonna try to eat as politely as I can. <laughs> when did I make? I think I made the video two weeks ago about my back pains. My back was very, very bad. It got to the point where I just was laying in bed all day and I was just on the computer doing, well, I was doing a lot on the computer, but I wasn't really doing any physical activity. And I haven't been in the gym, I don't even know for how long anymore. I was going to the gym like consistently five or six days a week with Chris and then I stopped and I was going a couple days a week only doing upper body and walking and I just completely cut everything out and for the past couple of weeks I haven't I think it's past couple of weeks I don't really know exactly when I stopped I've been resting a lot which is hard for me if you know me personally um, you know that I never stop <laughs> and I always have something to do and then I want to do a project to work on uh, photos to edit and I just love doing that stuff um but for the past couple weeks it's been hard like even trying to take photos has been difficult for me basically I've just been resting a lot I did take uh, I'll say I did take Advil when my back was really bad but that only happened twice since my injury I've only taken it like three times but I started doing a lot of heat um I started eating more anti-inflammatory foods and trying to avoid um, high salt content. Um, I do know I put a little bit of salt on my avocado, but I don't really eat a lot of processed foods throughout the day, so it's been helping. And something that's benefited me the most is actually my mindset about this whole situation. I was so, honestly, I was angry. I didn't want this to be 
my physical state I wanted to be going to the gym I wanted to be like increasing my fitness I had a lot of fitness goals all of these things and it just had an impact on my day-to-day -day life and mindset and I was very negative I just wanted I was just feeling bad for myself basically I don't know but I talked to Chris about it I talked to my mom about it I talked to Steph about it Steph from happy healthy 96 I love you thank you so much you honestly don't know how much of an impact you've made on me and they just brought so much positivity to me and so much confidence in the situation and my healing and I I don't know once I started being positive and confident that I was going to be okay and that everything was going to be better in no time um, I have honestly seen so much progress decrease of stress is definitely a factor that's helped me and today I actually went to acupuncture for the first time and holy beep I have never felt so much relief uh, it was a little honestly it's intimidating just thinking about it but Chris has done it before Taryn's a bunch of people have done it before and they've told me that there's just the thought of the needles going in is the worst part like you think it's worse than it actually is and honestly I didn't excuse me I didn't even feel it going into me only when she like hit a hair follicle and I was like oh, I'll take it out um, and then she did um, e-stim which is like electric stimulation on the piriformis muscle because I'm struggling with tightness there and it is piriformis syndrome um, I was talking about lumbar radiculopathy in my other video I guess from that it is piriformis syndrome so um, today when I went the woman just she knew exactly what to do exactly what to hit and the electric stimulation actually wore out my muscle to the point where it was just kind of relaxed and I I got up and I was like wow like I know it's not a hundred percent but it's so much more relief than I felt in a while than me walking in there I was gonna start going consistently and try to use that as a way to help me and it's honestly one session has helped me so much um, she wants me to do cupping if you guys have ever tried that let me know uh, or give me um, some advice. I'm a little nervous because Chris got it, uh, I think, last year. And he sent me a photo and it was like, freaked me out. Um, that's when he was living in New Jersey. So I didn't see it in person, but he was just saying it was so painful. Um, but we're probably going to do that for my back. And um, as you've noticed, I'm sitting down and this doesn't hurt me as much as it used to, which is amazing. So I'm, I am seeing progress. I'm not 100%, but my back is a lot better. My next appointment is on Monday. Today's Friday. So... Very soon, it's because we're leaving to New Jersey and I have to do it before we leave because I don't want to wait till after we leave because it's like two weeks. So yeah, that's my update. And I'm going to change this to something that, something different than I wasn't even intending to talk to. But your mindset about different situations in your life is definitely so much more impactful than you think it is. If you, if I was going into this and telling myself that, oh my God, I'm never going to get better. This sucks. Like I hate it. I have the worst life. Like my inflammation and everything would probably be worse calming your mind and your emotional being definitely calms your physical like the physical aspect of your body and i don't know personally that's what has helped me so much in this situation and if anybody is struggling with anything similar or any pains or stress or i don't know any of that stress is definitely something that takes a big toll on our lives and I know it's hard. There's so much going on in all of our lives. I'm a different person than all of you. I don't know what's happening in your life and I don't want to speak for you. Um, but I just want to say that just try to address that as well. If you have any like physical ailments or um, I don't know anything you feel is negative going on in your life. Just try to assess it and just see how you're looking at the situation. And I definitely think it'll be a big help. So with that said, I'm going to finish my meal now. Um, Booch and Nooch. So I've talked about these before, but Chris makes these t-shirts. And for those of you who don't know, I don't know how you don't know. If you're vegan, you need to know what this is. Booch is kombucha. Nooch is nutritional yeast. So Booch and Nooch is like the two best things in the world, basically. Um, Chris made these shirts and he's actually phasing them out. They're going to be like no longer if anybody wants any. But uh, yeah, these were like, this is like, oh no, this isn't the original. This is the second run that he did because these are on the better t-shirts. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh, I'm going to continue eating this because... It's getting, oh, it's been cold, honestly. But it's still the bomb. And I'm going to make Chris food because he's coming home from work right now. And I'm going to surprise him with um, some lunch. So I will see you then. Taking a break and eating some blueberry yogurt with blueberries. <laughs> uh, two types of granola. One I made, one that I bought, and then mulberries. My favorite vegan yogurt is Forager, if you guys have tried it. 
or if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. The vanilla flavor is my favorite, but Chris ate it, so blueberry is my second favorite, and then also strawberry is very good. So I'm waiting for Chris and my mom to come home. We're gonna go pick up my dad from the airport. He's coming back from Chicago from a business trip. And then we're going out to dinner with the whole fam. So you're gonna see my brother, probably his girlfriend, then Chris, my mom, and my dad. So it'll be a lot of fun. We're gonna go to this place called um, Firestone Walker Brewery. They have vegan options and they have pretzels and I love pretzels with mustard. And yeah, I think that's all we're doing tonight. Mm. Nothing I'm gonna try right now. We just changed, got a little ready. My hair, I don't know what to do my hair anymore, guys. I keep saying I'm gonna cut it, but then I come like really lazy to go and like things come up. And... I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this and then I think Chris just pulled up. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go. Here at Firestone with my brother, my mom, my dad, Kim, Chris, me. We're getting food. Wow. And Thank you. And the best part's coming. Yes. So it was a good night. My dad came back from Chicago and we all decided to have a dinner as a family. So my brother was there, his girlfriend, Chris, my mom and dad, like I showed you. So we are just going to wind down and pass out. Um, I don't really know how to end all these videos. I feel like it's always like awkward and the same. But yeah, nothing really is going to happen now. Um, we're just hanging out. Chris is going to bring Barry in here, we're going to hang out on the bed, and then we're going to go to sleep. So, we have a fun day, a long day planned tomorrow, um, so I'll see you then. Bye!